Now, as I rise the temperature of bath, th this is some bath. So as I supply, as I increase the temperature here, so the gas will absorb it. Then, then what will happen here is like a, the volume of gas remains constant. Then only pressure will increase. If pressure here increases, so what should happen to the level of liquid column here should increase. So I'm going to do graduation here. So the, this is the best diagram is what we have. So then from where this extra volume of mercury will come, <coughs> I'm going to supply using a tank uh, that is not shown. I'll, I'll show it here. No, no in-depth, huh? just have an idea what we are studying. From, from this, this will be knob will be there. So here is what? Reservoir it is called as. Blue color. Uh, no, what should be kept constant? The volume of gas must remain constant. Okay, I think the, the diagrams are very clear here. So here what I do, this is it. At this temperature T1 degree Celsius. So this is the level of mercury. Fine, so I supply it. Then this gas wants to expand. Okay, as it expands, it will push the mercury, no? It will push some mercury. So then, then, then again, what will happen? I, I'll, so th this will adjust itself so that here the volume of gas should remain constant. You, you look at the first diagram and second diagram. What was the volume? Volume was V. The second diagram, if you find difficult, you can avoid the volume of gas as kept constant. So what, what about pressure, you know? The pressure of gas has increased. As the temperature increases, the pressure will increase. As the pressure increases, Definitely here, uh, the level of mercury should increase. From where this additional mercury will come. Here, I'll just open the tap. Okay, from here, mercury will flow and it will rise. So the change in pressure is equal to change in height. So here, I'll put a scale. I'll do marking. Then in terms of change in pressure, I'm able to measure the temperature here. Uh, able to understand because this delta H, how do I express? I'll express in terms of pressure, rho GH. So therefore, so my next scale will be how it will be. I'm going to measure temperature. So the pressure of gas is what will be exploited here. This is a gas. So pressure earlier, P1, temperature T1. Here, T2, pressure T2, but volume is V. I'm writing strictly volume V only. So what is this? There's a constant volume gas thermometers. The volume of gas will remain constant. The second diagram, it is just shown. Okay, if, if you're getting confusion, I'll, I'll totally take it out. Huh? Because some of you are asking, sir, what is that? Okay, we'll, we'll take it out this. Huh? Fine. You can look at this now. Agreed, no? So there's a, uh, the diagram will be, so th this is called like a reservoir. So what property here, the pressure of gas will vary on increasing temperature. Now, 
with volume of gas remaining constant. I think uh, there will be more sensitive, you no know, slight change in temperature. The gas will, the gas or the pressure will change. So therefore, they are more sensitive. Huh? For small change in temperature, yes, there will be change in pressure. As yes, we are able to notice the change in the level of mercury here. So therefore, they, they're more sensitive. The gas thermometers <coughs> are most than liquid or solid. <coughs> 